Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tosin Oduwale. If you do not know me, I am CEO of Real Estate Equity Investment Group. And, um, you know, I've been doing a lot of videos just about a lot of things over the last year or so. Most of the time we talk about business strategies, business tips. Uh, sometimes I'll take you guys along on certain deals that I'm either uh, involved in or that are my deals and just kind of show you guys what my day-to-day -day grind is like. And that, that's the Daily Hustle series that we have on YouTube. Check it out if you haven't seen it. Um, today specifically though, I kind of want to divert and go to more about, about like confidence and creating an image and creating a brand for yourself, especially, I mean, not just if you're in real estate, but if you're in any business like at all, you kind of want to kind of, you know, just, just allow people to know what you do and what you're into. And so a lot of people, well, I won't say a lot of people, I'll say most people that kind of have like an introverted personality, they don't like to tell people about their successes or they don't like to tell people about when they've made a little bit of progress or have been productive in a certain field or direction because they don't want to be perceived as bragging you know and i understand you know people don't want to feel like they're they're rubbing the things in people's faces but this is my take on that if you are creating an image or a brand for your business and you want your business and your brand to grow if you have success people have to know people have to know that you're doing well in whatever it is that you're doing. If they don't know, then there's no way for them to really understand or, or know like how good you are on, on the scale. And so no matter how small your successes are, you need to talk about them as if they're huge successes. <laughs> you know, and this isn't, it's not lying, it's not stretching the truth. It's just that you, and anything that is a success to you, whether it's, it's a small success or a big success, it's a big success because it's progress. And so when you use that confidence and you use that, uh, uh, um, you know, platform of being able to inform people, which you can do so easily on the Internet nowadays, you can take your phone just like how I'm filming this video with my phone. You can take your phone on all the deals that you're doing, on any sales that you're doing, on any customer or client interaction, and you can record and you can just let people see that you're actually doing what you say you are doing and that ain't that that's what helps to to build your brand and your image you know right now we're in a world where everything is, is kind of visual you know if me as a customer if i don't actually see you doing it then in my mind you're just another person that's like you know advertising to me or promoting to me so if you can show me through footage that you actually do XYZ and you do XYZ well, then in my mind, you've taken up that mind share in my mind. So I'm going to think, okay, yeah, that guy or that girl knows what they're doing. And so, but in order for me to know that, you got to show me, you got to tell me, and you got to tell me constantly because I can forget because there's so much stuff that's being promoted and pushed everywhere, whether it's TV, radio, internet, direct mail, magazines, newspapers, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There's a million channels for delivering media, media and all of them are being exploited by marketers everywhere so there's a lot of content that you kind of have to pierce through but you need to number one produce quality content and you know you don't necessarily have to show the things that don't work out you know show the stuff that works show the stuff that actually goes through and it actually clicks so that people can see what you bring to the table. Now, me, every now and then, I will either talk about or show through video, you know, a transaction or a deal that really didn't go as planned. The reason why is because I'm in real estate and there are a lot of gurus that make it seem like everything is just success, 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 and every deal they touch is like gold. And so I kind of like to show people that the real side of real estate is that sometimes deals fall apart. Sometimes, you know, you can't get to closing. Sometimes you don't make your $10,000, $20,000 assignment fees or, or commissions. Or, it's not a thing where it's like, just because you're involved, it's gonna click. And so I just think it's very important just for the sake of transparency that for the people that do watch my videos or do look to get some type of information from me that I don't just show them a small window of the game and, and deceive them to thinking that, you know, everything's a win-win. But for the most part, I, I, I put a microphone and I shine a light on my successes because I want people to know, you know, that the last three years I've been busting my butt in real estate, trying to learn 
everything I can, trying to meet as many people in the business in the New Jersey and New York area, and you know, just recently kind of expanding nation nationwide down to Texas, Florida, and California, and and just coming and just you know building that network. And so I, I want you guys to know that I'm giving this my all. And I want you guys to know this so that down the line, if there's any type of real estate need that you have, maybe I'm gonna pop up in your mind. I mean, for example, yesterday on Instagram, I got a DM from one of my friends from college. And she said, hey, Tosin, uh, I just got pre-approved for a mortgage and I'm looking to buy a house. My budget, I think she said her budget was 150,000. And she's like, I'm, I'm looking for something quick. Like I need something now. So she just got pre-approved. And one of the first things that comes to her mind is, hey, let me call Tosin, let me contact Tosin. So that's the reason why you wanna show people that you're capable of doing something so that if, they sh if, if there should ever be a time that, that a need arises where they need that particular good or service provided, they're gonna contact you. You know, and so, you know, I, I just think that you can't be scared to be looked uh, for people to perceive you as bragging, you know, being braggadocious or being arrogant or being full of yourself. No, there's a difference between being arrogant and being confident. Now, you want to make sure that your tone doesn't come off as arrogant and cocky, but you want to show people that you are as good as you are. It's not that you're, that you're you know, um, selling them a bag of baloney. You are that good. You are good, you are great. And, and the world needs to know, people need to know, and you need people to know so that you can grow your business. So that's all I have for you guys today. Um, much success. This is the last quarter of 2016. Let's close it out with a bang. And uh, I look forward to 2017 being a wonderful time, a wonderful year for myself, for my team, for our company, for the companies that we partner with. And uh, I really, really, really hope that I get to show you guys as much of it as possible. Take care. See you guys on the next video. Peace.